Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark here. Wherever you are, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Hope you're all fit and well. Back again with a light-hearted look at the news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So let's see what we got today. A hotel employee uses customers' credit cards for online shopping spree. And thieving monkeys at Khao Yai National Park. Bangkok will be underwater in about 30 years, so a new study is predicting. American firms want to relocate to Thailand to counter US-China trade wars. But first up, Thai copyright police arrest a 15-year-old schoolgirl for selling baskets for the Lokal Festival with copyright symbols on them. You've got to be kidding. A 15-year-old girl in the northern province of Nikon Ratchasima was arrested and fined 5,000 Thai baht for making Loikrotong baskets showing copyright characters. The baskets were ordered by undercover copyright police. It appears the police were luring the girl into making illegal copyright material. She intended to produce flower patterns, floats for the upcoming Loikrotong festival to raise money for her schooling. She found it was successful and many people were ordering her products until one particular customer wanted copyright material printed. When she went to deliver the goods, the copyright police were waiting for her. The copyright police threatened her with 50,000 baht fine. Media reports that the girl placed her baskets at 17 baht each. The president of the Help Crime Victims Club posted on Facebook saying that the little girl had been extorted and the club would help her. He also cited a ruling. It was illegal to lure someone into violating a copyright. So the copyright police that arrested a 15 year old girl may be in a spot of bother. Loi Kratong is a festival from Thailand, the Siam era, and is celebrated all throughout Thailand and is a happy time for the Thai people. I've been to many of these festivals. A hotel worker in the Chiang Mai area has been caught stealing credit card information and spending the money online. The 35-year-old hotel employee has allegedly spent 500,000 Thai baht. One of his victims filled in a complaint after suspecting he was using his credit card data, which included his name, ID number, passport number, birthday, credit card, phone number, email, so on, so on. After choosing a card, he would call the issuing bank, pretending to be the cardholder. He would answer all security questions because he had the cardholder's details. He would then change all contact details, emails and so on to his contact numbers and emails. Thereby, the person he had stolen the data from would not know he was using their cards for online purchases. The suspect bought eight iPhones, gold bars and other items of worth about 500,000 Thai baht. After raiding the man's house, they found he had access to over 50 credit cards. Officials at Khao Yai National Park, northeast of Bangkok, are warning visitors to be wary of rogue monkeys that may steal their belongings. They say tourists who camp overnight need to be particularly vigilant, especially when preparing food or eating bananas. Monkeys feel that all bananas belong to them. The cooler weather has brought increase in tourists to the park, which is bringing more monkeys into the camping areas. And local villagers are also suffering from the onslaught of the little monkeys and are struggling to protect their belongings against the cheeky little monkeys. One coffee shop owner within the national park says the monkeys regularly break cups and bottles and refuse to pay their bills. People are also being advised not to leave their belongings out in the open or in front of tents because the monkeys are capable of opening bags and emptying everything in it and taking it and stealing objects they do not have a clue on how to use. One visitor lost their iPhone and ended up with a massive telephone bill. Park officials say the monkeys will often wait for their victims at sidewalks or at the side of the road. And once again, campers are also being advised to stow away their possessions securely as monkeys will enter the tent while they are empty and steal everything they can carry. If you happen to catch a monkey with your belongings, the best advice is to let it have it. The monkey will not be afraid to fight back if you try to tackle it and you may end up being bitten or scratched. The best advice is to ring the monkey police or go down to the local market and buy your stuff back. <laughs> A 
picture on the left, you can see the prediction of 2050 of Thailand's rising water. The new projection of 2050 tells a far, far different story. Vietnam was always going to be drastically affected, but the new projections of 2050 draw a grim picture for Vietnam's rising sea levels. Many Southeast Asian cities will be underwater in 30 years, according to some studies, and one of the hardest hit will be Bangkok. Climate change will affect many regions, but especially Asia, where more than half the world's population lives. In high-risk areas in China, Bangladesh, India, Vietnam, Indonesia and Thailand. According to the studies, Thailand has 12 million people in high-risk areas, and that especially goes for the Bangkok area. All will be affected by the year 2050, with another 20 million in Vietnam, whose southern region will virtually disappear, including most of Ho Chi Minh City. Indonesia, where the reports say that around 23 million will be affected. Recently, Indonesia has announced that it will move its capital to East Kilimanjaro in Borneo. Indonesia getting in early before the disaster happens. In Thailand, more than 10% of the Thai nationals now live in land that is likely to be inundated by floods by the year 2050. The political and commercial capital Bangkok is particularly in peril. Let's just hope the whole world can get together and do something about the climate change before those maps become fact. American firms want to relocate to Thailand to produce their products. Business leaders from the US are in Bangkok at the moment looking at the possibility of relocating to Thailand from China due to the US-China trade war. The US Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross, executive of six American companies, met the Thai Financial Minister at the Asian Summit to discuss trade and investments. The U.S. representative told the Thai minister that they were very interested in the eastern economical corridor of Thailand, where already a large pharmaceutical company is establishing itself. Ross and his delegates are visiting Thailand, Indonesia and Vietnam to promote the free, open Indonesia-Pacific strategy, seen as a countermeasure towards the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, and are also offering a very lucrative trading deals with the U.S., that of which China has failed to do, and seem to only be offering debt traps. Let's just hope the land of smiles comes out of all this on top.